Hello, 大家好 I'm Grace. 重音 word stress can be very important in a language. Like in English, if I use it incorrectly, then a sentence could sound like this: I want to improve my Chinese listening. It sounds really weird, right? 因为我把重音放在不对的音节 Does Mandarin Chinese have the same thing? If you are interested and want to know how to speak Chinese more naturally, just keep on watching. By the way, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. But more about that later. Word stress can be presented differently in different languages. A stressed syllable, 重音音节 might have a higher pitch, longer duration, or louder sound. Like tea bag, the first syllable is the stressed syllable, so its pitch is higher and it sounds longer and louder. In Chinese, whether we have word stress is debatable. Some people think that we always stress the first syllable in a word, and some other people think that we stress the last syllable in a word. For instance, in the word 电脑 some people think that we put the stress on the first syllable, 电脑 and some other people think that we stress the second syllable, 电脑 So don't feel surprised if your teacher asks you to put the stress on the second syllable, and maybe your Chinese friends tell you to stress the first syllable. After I took some Chinese phonetics-related courses and read some essays, I'm going to share with you some of my insights. I believe this information can help you understand the word stress in Chinese better, so you are not confused by it anymore. But before moving on, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes that can help you explore and develop new skills online. Lately, I've been taking a class on Skillshare called Productivity Today: Managing Attention in the Digital Age by Kevin Sisker. He introduces a very useful tool. Called to do list. I find it very helpful for me to organize and prioritize my tasks. Other than topics on productivity, Skillshare also has classes on illustration, design, creative writing, how to make a video, etc. Also, when you are learning on Skillshare, you can focus and learn a lot because there are no ads and they are always launching new premium classes. If you are not sure if this is worth your time and money, you can give it a try from the link in the description below. The first thousand people who click on the link will get a one month free trial, and you can start taking classes to see if you like it. Okay, let's move on. So the first question is: Do we have worse dress in Chinese? If we define having word stress as stressing a specific syllable in a word to convey a specific meaning and to make it sound natural, then aside from words with a neutral tone that usually have the first syllable stressed, like 桌子帽子 the first syllable in these words are stressed and pronounced longer. Other than these type of words, I don't think there are word stresses in Chinese because I don't think we have a fixed stress syllable in words. But does that mean that we pronounce every syllable with equal force and length? Hi there. How are you doing? I'm functioning normally. As am I. 我们都是这样说话吗？ Of course not. So how do we speak more naturally? There are five concepts you need to grasp. The first one is you need to get used to the pitch for each tone. I've talked about the pitch for each tone in detail in this video, and we also do some practice there. So if you are interested, go and check it out after watching this video. But for those who haven't watched the video, here is the summary. The first tone has a relatively high pitch, like May. 天，每天，面包，面包。And the second tone is a low high tone. It's from a lower pitch to a high pitch. For instance, 明天，明天，学校，学校。The third tone is the opposite of the first tone. It's a low tone. Its pitch is low, and it also falls a bit. Like 点心，点心，眼睛，眼睛。But there are some exceptions which the third tone isn't pronounced as a low tone. If you want to know more, remember to check out the video I mentioned. 
Finally, the pitch for the fourth tone is from a high to a low point. So you can think of it as a high-low tone. For example, 电视, 电视, 热水, 热水. So now you know the pitch for each tone. The second concept you need to grasp is that different tones have different lengths. Some tones are pronounced shorter than other tones. Here is the length comparison for the four tones. Usually, the second tone is pronounced longer than the other tones. And the third tone, the low tone, is the shortest. So remember, we don't pronounce each tone with equal length. Let's do some practice. 明天 明天 可能, 可能. 知道, 知道. 知道。But you also need to know that the length of the tones might be changed by you emphasizing certain words. Or when you are thinking what to say next, you might pull on the word you are saying, like this. 他不会来. So here I pull on the 他 because I'm still thinking what to say next. The next concept is that if a two-syllable word is in a sentence and we are not emphasizing it, usually we put a bit more stress on the first syllable. Let's look at some examples. Do you have a the fourth concept is that in Chinese, some words have a neutral tone for the second syllable, like 石头, 帽子, 东西. The second syllables in the words all have a neutral tone. And for this type of word, we stress the first syllable and pronounce the second syllable lightly and shortly. Let's practice them together. 石头, 石头. 帽子, 帽子. 东西, 东西 Okay, the final concept for today is that when we are speaking, we also have intonation and sometimes we like to emphasize certain words. And these factors also affect the pitch and length of a word. For example, when you are surprised, your pitch range may raise and expand, like this. 他真的不会来。but if it's just a statement, it would be 他真的不会来. 他真的不会来. They sound pretty different, right? Also, in a sentence, when we are emphasizing a word, the word would be pronounced longer and its pitch range would be expanded. For instance, in this sentence 你又迟到了。你又迟到了。你又迟到了。你又迟到了。你又迟到了。we are late again. If I want to emphasize the yo again, then I would pronounce its tone more obvious and make it longer, like this. 你又迟到了。你又迟到了。if you want to practice Chinese intonation and emphasis, I recommend you listen to how native speakers speak and imitate them. Alright, after learning all of the concepts, let's do a quick recap. To speak Chinese more naturally, first and foremost, you need to get used to the pitch for each tone. Second, we don't pronounce each tone with equal length. Normally, the second tone is longer than the first tone, and the first tone is longer than the fourth tone and the third tone is the shortest. The third concept is that when a two-syllable word is in a sentence, usually the first syllable is stressed more, it's pronounced longer. Also, if a word contains a neutral tone for the second syllable, then we stress the first syllable. Therefore, the first syllable is longer. 
The final concept is that intonation and emphasis in a sentence also affect the pitch and length of a word. Alright, that's all for today's video. If you have a different point of view from me in terms of word stress in Chinese, feel free to leave a comment and share your thoughts with us. Like I said, there are so many different perspectives on this topic, so I'd definitely like to hear different voices. And also, if you want to learn some daily Mandarin expressions, check out my Instagram, Grace Mandarin. Now, we'll see you next time. Bye bye! Oh